Hello and welcome. This is the first episode on my new channel. As you can probably tell by my complete lack of confidence, I'm just starting. So I hope that as I grow my channel, I can take you guys along with me and teach you what to do. And there are a few things that you, and admittedly I, have to master. And it's not money. I'm filming this on my phone with a $10 tripod and a $10 microphone. It's not that expensive if you know what you're doing. So with this video, I'll teach you the basic tips for filming and how to brand yourself on YouTube. And remember, this is coming from me who hasn't posted a video yet, except the terrible one that I filmed, but you guys will see that later. And for this video, I'm filming in my room, something most of you hopefully have. So I'm in a scene like this one, and this one, and this one. I bought a tripod, but you really don't even have to. You can just use a box. Don't ask about this one. So have a setup. You want to have a clean room if you're using your room, or have a clean studio wherever you are. I mean, my room's pretty messy. I have a koala and a didgeridoo. So the most important thing for you is probably going to be gear. I'm pretty good at finding gear. On Amazon, I could get all of that for less than $50. I mean, that's not bad to start a channel. The first thing you need is obviously a camera. I have a PowerShot SX530. It's about $300 on the market, but you could take videos just as well with your phone. So your phone. Phone cameras have come a long way since the beginning. And really, depending on your make and your model, your phone camera can be really, really good. It can be almost as good as professional cameras. The next thing you're gonna need is a microphone. I got this pop voice mic that I'm using right now for about $13.99. I also found this one for about $25. It's not as good, but it gets the job done when I need it. And the last thing that you're going to need is a tripod. I like this bendable tripod, but I also have the one that I'm using to film this video. This one's definitely a lot better because it can bend and go onto surfaces that most tripods can't get on. It helps you move it onto like different surfaces, you can shape it, and you can also use it as a steady... It broke. broke. To make a channel, you have to have a Gmail account. But that solves the problem of scripting too. You don't even need a computer for that because Google Docs works on your phone as well as any computer or tablet that you're on. As for editing, I use iMovie on my mom's MacBook. The app comes free with any Apple product and it makes great software when used on the computer. It works on your phone as well, but mobile has some better options. If I ever need to edit videos on my phone, I use KineMaster. It's a free-to-use editor, and you can get their premium for under $30 a year. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not nervous either. You know, I'm not going to be snake. I'm not going to be I'm not going to be snake. I'm not going to be snake. I'm not going to be just a short disclaimer, I'm not sponsored by any of them. These are just the products that I use and I wanna show you how you can start a channel for cheap. Even if you don't have any of this equipment, I know that this can help you and I think that you can do it without any gear if you really put your mind to it. As for sound, YouTube has a free library where you can get a lot of copyright free songs that you can use for your content without attribution. For instance, I can tell you that one of our videos is gonna be doing wacky photo shoots with weird costumes and weird hats that we find. Definitely look for it if you're scrolling through YouTube in the next couple weeks. So basically, have a good plan in mind for what you want to do. And the best thing that can supplement a plan is having a brand. So a good example of this is Kelly Stamps, who likes ice skating and tiramisu. Those are really unique things that not a lot of people do, so that makes you more likely to remember her. She also makes really good YouTube advice, so check her out as well. I have a rough plan, but that's something that I definitely have to narrow down. Because I have big things like photography, society, geography, all these things that I like. It's really important that I condense it into one smaller idea that I can make a niche about until I become a bigger channel. I really like photography. It's kind of a small passion and it's something that I hope to make something out of. I also really like baseball, geography, society, and other weird things that most other YouTubers don't find a lot of interest in. So 
to make something unique out of who you are. I mean, it might be harder because to your friend group, you're probably the YouTuber friend or the person that's probably more outgoing or more likely to make something like this. So take something that your friend group is, like you might be the cool friend group or you might be the people who really like some random niche like Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Make a whole channel about that. I'm definitely not looking at whatever's behind this phone. No matter what, I definitely recommend you start a channel. A lot of things that I see in my friends is they don't feel confident, but they really look confident when they do these things. When you aren't confident and you say these things, like I'm not confident, but I sound confident right now. I hope that I sound confident. Or else that would, that would suck if I didn't sound confident right now. But seriously, put yourself out there. You won't regret it. Wait, don't cook away yet. Since I taught you guys what can make your channel unique, this is what makes my channel unique. I really like photography, society, geography, and all these things I think I can work together to make this channel really, really interesting for you guys to watch. I want to do social experiments, test out photography, and maybe even sprinkle a little bit of short films in there. It'll be really fun and you guys should definitely check it out. So if you're still seeing this, you're either really invested in what I have to say or you're on autoplay, in which case, thank you for getting me the watch hours. I love it. I'm not going to beg for subscribers on this channel, but if you want to see me go on this journey and you want more advice as I go along, be sure to hit the subscribe button and follow me. Also comment what you want to see me do next. It'll be really fun. You won't regret it. Goodbye. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. Mic check. Are there any Michaels? Miguels? Anything?